eteenpäin. Today is going to be quite a bit of a longer tutorial, but I'm going to be teaching you guys something very, very cool. I will be teaching you how to decompile almost any Unity game, and I'm going to be using two examples here. I'm going to be using the Ultra Kill um, demo and the Carlson um, current version of Carlson on HI. So what we want to do is we want to go to Asset Ripper on GitHub. It's going to be the first one GUI application to work with Engine. Now, you're going to have to download the latest one. For me, currently, the latest version is 1.2.0. And once you get it, you're going to have to open it up in a smaller area, and you're going to get this. You're going to get this really cool application that already went forward and set it up. I let it pass through my firewall, which means that I can um, access it. Even if Windows um, says that um, it protected your PC, you can run it anyways because it scans well with my antivirus, which is Windows Defender. So it's it's worth it's worth um, it's worth it. What we want to do is we want to go to itch. We want to download Carlson. So over here we go to um, Carlson by Danny. This one I like his. Um, content and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Carlson. Also, if you're here, you can also get Prelude Ultra Kill. It's really, really good um, as well. I like it as well. And you can extract the Carlson stuff. Now, there's two things that we're going to do once we get um, Carlson open. There's going to be some issues once we open it up. So here we have the uh, game and we're going to decompile this. So we're going to go to Asset Ripper, we have it open over here, open a file, go to Downloads or wherever you keep Carlson, go inside of it and double click on the application. We view the loaded files and we have a bunch of stuff here, level 9, all of this really cool stuff, and we export. Now here we have um, a little button that lets us see in which, un in which Unity version it was created. Currently, I have Unity 2019.4.0 F1, I believe this one will work as well. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out in this video. So, create a new folder, Carlson Decomp, select this one, and then we export a Unity project. Now, it might not seem like it's doing anything, but if you look at the terminal here, it has out of 994 steps, it's up exporting um, a lot of stuff, and it's done. If you have a faster GPU, um, it will load faster, but in the meanwhile, we go here, open the exported project, click on it, we open up the version that I have right over here, and we open it. We change the version, it shouldn't give us any errors with APIs that have changed, um, and we should have the full version of Carlson open for us to see and edit and mod. Now we're gonna have to wait here for a bit as it loads all of the textures and stuff, and I'll explain a few more things to you and I'll go and download another project that we're gonna decompile here as well. So we're gonna go here to find all of the tags here and we're gonna see what do we wanna do. So we're gonna go Unity, of course, and we have a lot of things here. Uh, Movement-based sword fighting, Samurai, whatever, it's, I don't know what it is, I've never seen it before, but if it's interesting, you can decompile it with what this decompiler is doing. So right now, it loaded, we have a few warnings, no errors though, which is really good for a starting thingy, and we open it up at initialize, and we run it. And there's some music playing, we can sound a bit too loud. Um, let me just change the volume of that, because that is way, way, way too loud. I don't know what in the world Danny was thinking, but we can instantly go, and we have the full version of Carlson to do whatever we want to. We have the guy over here, all the sound effects, all the music, everything. It works really well. Um, if I pause this, I need to lower the volume even more because it is way too loud. There you go. Now I can actually hear everything. Um, 
And as we go through this level, we can edit it as much as we want. It's just that initialize, I want to just teach you guys something about uh, Carlson and all of Danny's projects. All of the time, whenever you want to run it, it has to be through initialize because initialize um, runs a few scripts that are necessary for the player to move. And do that over here. We can go over here and we can get across to this section right over here where we can test all of these things work, all of the guns work, everything is working perfectly. You can even pick up the shotgun. Very cool. Very, very, very nice. Everything is working, and I believe even the level switching is working. We're gonna have to see that um, at the very end of the level, so let me just complete it really quickly again because I can't read um, the menu um, because it's, it's kind of broken right now. <laughs> I'm gonna also teach you guys how to how to fix the menu being weird with, as you can probably see here, um, there's a text bug up here that should be saying some stuff. I don't really know what it's supposed to be saying, but I'll show you how to fix that as well in just a moment after we check to see if everything else is working fine. Some of the textures might be bugged, but other than that, it works perfectly fine. Boom. And we can go to the next level. So that's, that's how you decompile Carlson. Um, it's better than the other open source Carlson decompiles, like Open Carlson by Toby Cavanaugh. That's that's pretty honorable mention because it doesn't work so well. But I guess I guess if you, anyways, I gotta stop yapping because um, I have some other stuff to show you, like how to decompile Ultra Kill. So let's go do that actually. So now that we've decompiled one project, we have to go for the next one. So. We have to find um, another project. I mean, we can decompile Ultra Kill if we want to. It's very similar, similar, but I will tell you all you have to do. So I've already decompiled it with the steps that I have shown you before for um, Carlson. And once you open it, you're gonna see this weird issue there's just white it's either white or black um, whenever you punch your arm appears but nothing else you cannot see you can ground pound you can do all that stuff so what you want to do is you want to go to cameras and virtual camera now this would be originally something else it would be black it would show this that it's not showing and it would have something else underneath it it would have this thing the standard it would be enabled now what you want to do is disable standard, go to virtual camera, and then look at this. If it doesn't look like this, then you have to go to main camera, or sorry, no, 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 shop camera. You want to copy component, then you want to go to virtual camera, and paste component values. And then you want to change all of the, the calling mask to everything here. So take a moment, pause here, and look at all of this stuff, except for limb, where's limb? You have to keep that enabled. But you have to look at all of this stuff, and then enable and disable the ones that are disabled and enabled here. And you want to enable the camera. And now everything is visible. As you can probably see, I did a bit of editing. I added this cool weapon I found. I changed some of the colors. Pretty interesting that it works. It's pretty cool as well. And you can play through the levels of Ultra Kill. I changed them a little bit because I, I like changing stuff, as is probably quite obvious by now. That's why I've, I learned how to do this. And pretty cool. You can change any Unity game that you like. Just don't distribute this. It might be illegal. I'm not 100% sure. Just, just, just stick with it. Keep it yourself. Um, and yeah, you can, you can change up stuff. You can make it look however you want. Interesting. I find it interesting. I hope you guys found this video interesting. Have a nice day or rest of your day or evening or whatever. And yeah. See ya. Until the next time. Bye.